Free Paul. Everyone has observed the effect of gravity as it causes objects to fall downward. In the absence of air resistance, it is found that all bodies at the same location above the Earth fall vertically with the same acceleration. Furthermore, if the distance of the fall is small compared to the radius of the Earth, the acceleration remains essentially constant throughout the descent. This idealized motion in which air resistance is neglected and the acceleration is nearly constant is the known as pre-fall. Since the acceleration is constant in pre-fall, the equations of kinematics can be used. Now, the four motion of equation in terms of pre-fall. So here, instead of using x to represent the position, we use y to indicate that it is vertical displacement. So again, v is for velocity, v naught is for initial velocity, and this time y is for vertical position, and y naught the initial position. Is time, and instead of using a to represent the constant acceleration, we're going to use g, which is the acceleration due to gravity. It is also important to define the value of acceleration. The value of acceleration in Earth's surface is approximately 9.81 meter per second squared or 32.2 feet per second screen. Okay, so also it is important to indicate our positive direction. So here, Let's say this direction, our direction in convention is our positive direction. While downward direction is the negative direction. Meaning, if the, if the elevation or position of an object is above the origin, therefore you're going to have a positive displacement or if the direction of the velocity is going upward, therefore, we're going to have a positive velocity. Otherwise, if your displacement is below the origin, you're going to have a negative displacement. And if the direction of the displacement is going downward, therefore your velocity is negative. But in the case of gravitational pull or the acceleration due to gravity, since it is due to gravity and, and gravity pull any object towards the center of the Earth, Therefore, the direction of gravity is always, or the acceleration due to gravity is always 
downward. Since it is downward, we're going to have a negative value for acceleration. So applying this value with this motion equation and applying the concept of the displacement and velocity, we can solve for any problem. So now let's have an example problem. A stone is dropped from rest from the top of a tall building as a figure indicates. After three seconds of pre-fall, what is the displacement y of the stone? After three seconds of pre-fall, what is the velocity v of the stone? So, let's enumerate given. So we have time of three seconds. Initial velocity of zero. Since it is in pre-pole, we neglect the air resistance. Our acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.81 meter per second. So we are looking for Letter A, the displacement Y. And letter B, the velocity after three seconds it fall. So let's solve for letter A. What motion equation we're going to use to solve for the displacement Y? We can use this equation y minus y naught is equal to b naught t plus one half g t squared y minus y naught is our displacement y And substitute the value for V0, which is 0. And for gravitational pull, we have negative 9.81 meter per second squared. And our time, 3 seconds. Therefore, our displacement is... Forty four point one forty five meter. So thus the unit for time will be cancelled. So meaning from rest after three seconds of pre fall, the stone is at the elevation of Ah, uh, sorry, it, it's negative, negative 44.145 meters since, since our origin is from the top of the building. Since it's going downward, so we're going to have a displacement of negative. So our displacement is negative 44.145 meter. For letter B, we're looking for the velocity after... Three seconds. So we're going to use the first motion equation, which says that final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus gravitational acceleration times t. Substituting the value, b naught is zero, 
and G is negative 9.81 meter per second squared. And our time is 3 seconds. Therefore, our velocity is equal to Twenty nine point forty three meter per seconds. So that's it. How we analyze free fall. So again, we're just going to use the motion equation, the pore motion equation with a constant acceleration. And instead of using um, A, we're going to use G to represent the acceleration due to gravity, which is equivalent to negative 9.81 or negative 32.2, since it is directed downward. So now, Let's check your understanding. Try to solve this problem.